Hey friends! Today I'm gonna go thrifting in the hate and because I'm thrifting I'm going to wear my favorite jacket. I actually thrifted this like two years ago. It's like a blazer situation and it like it feels like you know something your grandfather would wear. <laughs> Believe it or not the majority of my fit is literally thrifted. Like I thrifted this shirt in Portland um, and then as I said, the jacket's thrifted, and yeah, that's basically the fit. I'm also wearing blue jeans, and I'm wearing my sambas, and I'm going to wear my um, thrifted long shawl. But yeah, anyway, I'm super excited. I'm going to go to maybe like four or five stores. I'm going to take you along with me, and if you've never been to San Francisco, you're about to go. <laughs> and not only that, you're about to thrift, and that's even better, so yeah. Okay, so I just got here. I am super excited. The sun is out, but it is raining for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it could have been worse, so I'm happy that I'm here. Um, and the first store I'm going to go into is Buffalo, um, and then whatever comes after that. So yeah, let's do it. Wait, before I go, I have a question for my matcha girlies. Um, is it just me or do you prefer, oh wait, hold on. Okay, sorry, there was a guy parking right in front of me and like got really close to my car. Anyway, um, is it just me or do you prefer to make your matcha at home? Like I literally, I could have literally bought matcha. There's so many like really good cafes out here, like on hate. But like for some reason, nothing hits like the matcha I make at home. Like look, uh, look at the perfection in color. Like, are you kidding me? Anyway, uh, yeah, let me know if you are that way as well. Um, or am I just weird? So this is the super famous tie-dye store that like the hate is kind of known for. One of the things Yeah, the pizza sucks.
I think this one is like a cashmere blend. Let's see. It doesn't say, but it feels like a cashmere wool blend. It's so beautiful, but I think it's a little small. So I really like the sweater. I think it's super cute. The only issue is I feel like, like I love the oversized. The only thing is like I feel like the sleeves are too long. Like I would kind of want them to be a little bit shorter. Maybe if we fold that it could be cuter. Later. Yeah, I think it, it's not the issue of how long the sleeves are. I think the issue is like there's this little poofing bit. It's like supposed to be like a design, but to be honest, I feel like it just looks like the not cute kind of oversized, which I'm super bummed about because I feel like it's so cute. You know, like cabin vibes. <laughs> okay, next door. So I'm back home now. There were so many cute things like at this, I think it was blue fin or blue vintage. Um, I found this really, really cute like 
surfer girl white sweater and I was like oh this would be so cute with my white jeans when I'm like skating but then I was like I don't know it was like a little cropped and I don't really wear cropped clothing so I was like oh then I'll have to wear something under it so I didn't get it it was super cute um, I'm sure you saw it earlier when I was going through the racks I found a lot of really cute stuff but the only issue is like it was slightly too big or slightly too small for me um, I feel like that's just my life story, like, too big or too small. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun, regardless. That sweater that I tried on, like, it was such good quality. It was so thick and, like, so warm. And I feel like if I'm, like, in a cabin in Tahoe wearing that sweater, like, ugh, it's such a vibe. But I, I, I just think, like, the ballooning, like, the ballooning style on there, on the sleeves, wasn't really like doing it for me so I didn't end up getting it and it was like so cheap too I think it was like 19 bucks or something so yeah um and then the like one other piece that I just couldn't stop thinking about was this like colorful sweater it was also like a winter sweater and it felt like a mix like a blend of cashmere and wool and I wanted it so bad but I felt like it would be too small and especially like the way that it felt, the person who had it before didn't dry it properly. Like for cashmere, you're not supposed to put it in the dryer. Um, and so it, it seems like they put it in the dryer so it became like a little, I don't even know how to describe it, but like very tight. Um, and it, it, it looked like it had shrinked. Um, but yeah, so I didn't end up getting it, but I'm like so obsessed with that pattern and now I'm like on the hunt to find a similar sweater with kind of a similar style. Anyway, um, it was a lot of fun. I didn't really film inside of Buffalo because I felt like, one, it was super, super crowded, like it was so stressful. And number two, it was like a lot of fast fashion. And the thing is like, I think it's really, really wonderful to shop vintage and to shop um, secondhand. But one thing I just really, really hate about like thrift stores nowadays is a lot of it is fast fashion. And it's largely because like we've kind of as a generation moved into consuming, you know, fast fashion. And so, you know, whatever is going to be given to the thrift store is most likely going to be fast fashion. But yeah, so Buffalo was a lot of fast fashion. So I didn't feel like it was really anything good or interesting to look at. So I didn't feel like I needed to film there, but I did go in there. Um, the last store I went into was Wasteland, and it's just one of those thrift stores where you walk in. Everything's really, really nicely like laid out, and has a lot of like designer pieces and a lot of like streetwear, Y two K, that kind of energy. And it was, you know, it was it was nice because I love an organized thrift store, but it was also so expensive, like. I found they have a really, really good array of Levi jeans and they were, <laughs> they were like 140 minimum or like 120 minimum. And I'm just like, dude, like if you're selling vintage Levi's for 120, like minimum, I, I don't really know if that's like, anyway, so I was a little put off by that and yeah, everything else in there was like nice pieces. It was just so um, expensive. And I feel like if I'm shopping secondhand, that kind of defeats the purpose. Um, but yeah, and then, oh, and then I went into Indigo. So Indigo is one of my favorite um, vintage stores. And that was the one uh, that had another really, really good array of vintage Levi jeans. And if you're looking, like, you're in the market for, like, some really good quality ones, doesn't have holes, isn't, like, too distressed looking, but just, like, a good pair, like, of Emma Chamberlain, you know, um, Levi jeans, I would definitely go check out Indigo. It's so great, but I'm not going to lie to you. The pricing is not cute. Like, jeans are going to be 104 120 240 if it's, like, an exceptional pair. Um, but yeah, that's just something to kind of keep in mind. Um, but yeah, it was a blast. I had so much fun. Besides the fact that I spilled matcha all inside of my bag. And yeah, my AirPod case, I literally dumped out matcha from. So that was great. But otherwise, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. 
definitely coming thrift in the hate i love the hate it's such an eccentric place and if you're ever in san francisco i 100 recommend it it's like the hipster hippie town of san francisco please don't forget to like and subscribe i would really appreciate it and tell your friends